Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is all over. And what do we see? Who do we see? Taking a little rest from <laughs> his fantastic work, Mr. Regan Tedlow. Regan, I, you, I know you need that break. How was it for you? Exhausted? Well, uh, I'm not really exhausted just yet, but it's not over for me. I've got to do the awards ceremony tonight. And then tomorrow I'm commentating on the uh, Swoop League over at Scadab Dubai over there. And then the day after that, I start my 12 days of commentary with uh, World Air Games. So this kind of break is for about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. We are not done yet because right next here to uh, to Reagan's uh, resting place, we have uh, some VIPs and the celebrities waiting. Um, with who are Mr. Solly Williams and Mr. Jeremy Rollet and Mathieu Bernier? Thank you for taking the time. We just saw the the, the Grande Finale of. Um, of the meet and formation skydiving competition, which was the speed battle it was. And Mathieu, you, com you competed, you were actually in. Where did you end up? Um, it was a nice run for us. We are really happy, uh, a few busts. But, uh, well, you know, it's like that. So one jumps, well, this sort of jumps, everything can happen. So uh, you need to to keep going, stay stay fast, not too fast at the beginning, and keep going. It's really, really hard. And difficult for a team that hasn't trained that much, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it was difficult for us, but but it's always, uh, it's, it's um, also no, no pressure. So it's nice, too. It was probably the highest quality pickup team in the history of the sport <laughs> for world champion. Mathieu, who was on the lineup? Explain that quickly to us. Your brother? Um, the, team. the team, yeah, my brother um, Guillaume and Julian and me, we, are, uh, we, we were together during four years and, uh, in uh, 2006, 2008 and 2010 and Roy is, uh, is a, a world champion, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really nice. But um, you need to know that Guillaume didn't do uh, one four-way jump uh, uh, for four years. The, the last uh, four-way jump was Dubai, the World Championship in Dubai in 2012. And only one person of your 2010 gold medal team was missing and he is sitting here right next to us now. There he is, Jeremy Rollet. He was in the 2000. What, how did you feel when you saw your former teammates competing here? Maybe the secret is no training. Eh? You <laughs> don't have to train a lot, but uh, they did a very good round. And uh, they are in third place, and uh, it's amazing to see them fly together. You were more looking at a different team um, in, in that round, and throughout the whole competition, you were watching at the Qatar Tigers because you are coaching them now. How, how is that going? It's the best uh, competition ever for them, for Qatar, and uh, we are close to 27 average now, and uh, the flight is very good. And uh, I expect a good improvement for the next year because it's square, small, flat, and I think we can go faster. And uh, it, I'm really happy with what we do. I know that what we do in training, and I expect we, could, we can do the same in uh, in competition. So now we are really happy with with what we we do on these ten rounds. You were the national coach in France between 2010 and 2014, and then you you handed it over to Mathieu, and uh, Mathieu is the new national coach. But you also are very, very, very busy, Mathieu, with competing in four-way here, competing in. Well, you can tell that all by yourself. So, tell us your whole agenda of coaching, competing, and training, and all that. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm very busy, but uh, it's a long time now. I compete. Um, I'm looking at the team, and uh, uh, yeah, um, I will not competing uh, during a long time. So it uh, it will be it will be easier in the future. But uh, yes, it's uh, I'm a little bit busy now. But it's okay, and when it will be difficult uh, or, or bad, I will I will stop one one of them. And you are the team coach for the female uh, fly-in team, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you must be very happy with their performance. Yeah, yeah I'm really happy. Uh, they did really, really good. 
I'm really happy. I just I have, I have nothing to say. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, for me it's perfect. Good flight. Some some bust, but it's okay. Uh, we, we we didn't train a lot. We did just two hours of uh, wind tunnel. So uh, I'm really happy. Uh, the new member Pamela um, did really really good. So I'm really happy. Perfect. I asked them the question earlier, what is the difference or what happened between Prague, the indoor world meet, and here? <laughs> and they said nothing. Yeah, nothing. We, ju we, ju we just uh, we did uh, 40 jumps uh, last week. But I think uh, the team is, is more confident and, uh, and uh, yeah, just more confident. And uh, we did nothing. It's perfect. Well, let's hand the same question over to the other side here, where we have Mr. Solly Williams and Mr. Craig Girard just joined us. Hello, Craig. Um, so the question to Solly, what happened between Prague, you were in Prague um, with the Golden Knights, and they won in Prague, and they won that little... But tell us a little bit more about what you saw in Prague and what you saw here. Um, well, first of all, congratulations to both these guys here, because I agree, both of their teams did, like, way better here than in Prague and nice Im improvement in performance um, and I wasn't quite following Qatar as much as the French females but the French female team had a massive improvement overall in consistency and speed and so that is great to see um, nice turnaround there for us uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with the performance the team is a little bit disappointed but that's how it is sometimes we came off a high coming out of Prague where it is a record average and a little higher than I even expected and it is going to be hard to duplicate that here we knew we had a chance we actually did a train some training in between and we got a little bit better at certain things maybe the draw was a bit different but um, some lessons learned we had too many busts here for a team of that level and uh, so we'll back to the drawing board but it's uh, it's nice to see that the, we, the competition's a little bit tighter and I'm sure that's going to spur each other on too as well so but uh, overall, I was, I was very happy with our performance here. What are you expecting for the outdoor competition coming up, the World Air Games? Um, same, same deal? Like yeah, we're, we're a little bit lightly trained for free fall because of the uh, situation the Knights had with the accident a couple of months ago. So as far as wind tunnel and free fall go, we are very light in free fall. But when they left Prague and went to the US Nationals, we had the best average we've had so far. Very tired and a little bit worn out. And I actually expect that we're going to have a record in, uh, in, in average here in the free fall because we're going to train here for three or four days and we'll probably feel a little bit better about ourselves. So we're, we're, the expectation is high. And now to you, Craig. Yeah. I guess you're probably, I mean, I'm sure you will be the happiest person now here for, of all of it because you, are, you were very uh, pleased with your Dubai performance. Especially the eight-way. Yeah, especially the eight-way. The, the four-way team, we had, we had our best performance, had, a, had, a, set, had a, a record average. Like, we wanted to score a 23, which we hadn't done before. We did that here with, like, eight points and buzz. But uh, more importantly, the eight-way was, I was super surprised. Like, I think they just kind of upped their game, like, with all the excitement and, and everything that was going on. But, but truly, the, the, that's the first eight-way competition that's been in the tunnel like that with all those teams. Man, the level is, it's amazing. Yeah, it's really high. How about the gold team? The what? The gold team. Man, they did amazing, man. They had, they had th these four guys, they joined the team this year. So those guys are ha the other half of the eight-way, and they're doing triple-A four-way. And I think they averaged, uh, they averaged uh, 19, I think. No, nah, nah, 19. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, there's one elephant in the room here that we have not talked and nobody has a relationship. Actually, no, we do have um, the elephant in the room, I would say, is uh, the Hayabusa airspeed uh, <laughs> duel that we saw here. Let's discuss that. Um, what did you see? Anybody, any feedback for that? Because, you know, what, that was one of the big um, topics when we all came here. Sorry, let's begin with you. Well, I, I, I'm here to learn, and obviously watching those top teams is an is a education at that level. Not everyone can say that they're doing 31 averages, you know, in the tunnel. But going back to Windor early this year, when they were both a little bit less trained and new members, etc., they were very even there in speed as well, that this airspeed bust more. And up till this morning, I think airspeed were right in it and then bust a little bit more towards the end of the day. So 
the lesson is that uh, speed-wise, they're, they're, they're pretty equal. And even though the block techniques are sometimes a little bit different or whatever, the speed-wise, it's very, very similar. And, uh, and of course, um, yeah, I think the scoreboard tells it all. Hayabusa are a pretty dominant, domineering sort of performance there. And uh, we're just handing out the cold beers here. So, yeah, good, good, good move, yeah, Craig. Very nice. But uh, now, overall, uh, I, I think uh, ASP should be very happy with their performance. And, uh, and I'm sure Hayabusa are getting ready to party. So. What does the French delegation and the Qatar um, delegation think when you see Ayabusa and Airspeed, do you feel like hopeless, helpless? Do you see any way to get close to them or are they so far away you just let them go? Mathieu, oh, it was Mathieu a, for the French. Yeah, it was a nice, really nice uh, battle. They are really, really strong. I think uh, Ayabusa did, did really, really good at the end to, to, to be uh, in front of Airspeed. Oh, for the French national team, it will be really, really difficult. We need to to think on, on uh, uh, several years to be to beat them because they are they are so strong. It's amazing. So you have more like a long-term goal with the French teams, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will. I will think about it. I, I don't really know, but. Uh, We need maybe we need to, to change uh, the training uh, internal. We we will see, but uh, there is a big big gap. The French teams are traditionally the stronger outdoor teams, if I get this correctly. Do you think you will have a, a closer or better distance at the World Air Games? Um, maybe uh, maybe closer, but uh, but uh, <laughs> these guys are really really strong uh, in outdoor too. So uh, <laughs> if, you know it's. Uh, It's uh, amazing. I don't. I don't know. A lot of work waiting for France. What about Qatar, um, Jeremy? I think you are hunting down the French guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we are looking for the top teams, and uh, we try to reduce the gap. We have the two best teams in the world, and uh, it's good to see yeah, because we can try to pick something, some few things on blocks and randoms and style. Eh? So we work on it, and uh, we try to to do our best to reduce the distance on one day, maybe. Be close. You don't, you don't mind uh, trying to beat your friend and former teammate? No, no, it's a job. Eh? You, it's a job. You, you do your best for the team. You try to help them and hold your energies for your team. Eh? It doesn't matter about friends, no friends. Now we are friends, but before, no. <laughs> no friends in competition. <laughs> okay, Craig, what do, what do you see? Your former airspeed member. Well, but your Hayabusa has a lot of momentum building. And, and I don't think airspeeds ever beat them. In, in the last couple of years in the tunnel, you know? So like, I was really looking forward to see this good fight. And, and after the f first couple of days, it looked like it was, it was really, really good. And like, you know, exactly what these guys just said, like a couple of busts in there and it just, it just magnified, you know? It's like today, it just, those couple of rounds really took a big jump. But like, there's two competitions going on here, you know? like. Uh, with the jumping competition, I know airspeed is, is stronger jumping than than tunnel flying, you know. And so, I mean, I'm I'm always a hardcore airspeed guy deep down inside here for sure. Like people like they're like, who do you think is gonna win? I'm like, dude, I have to say, dude, I I have to say airspeed, man. But listen, you know, those guys, it's it's such a great battle to have those guys here, even even with with uh, Mathieu's team, like to see that team, like with with those three French guys and with Roy, that was phenomenal, man. That was really, really cool to see. Yeah, that was really, really cool. And uh, and the eight-way man, I'm telling you what, that's another battle, you know? Like, I mean, everybody wants to see a fight. I mean, a friendly fight, but, but you know, there's that's how we get fans. Like, if, if everybody just wins by 20 points, it's boring. You know, great for you, man, here, here's your, let me give you your medal first. You know, but when it goes down to like the last round, you know, like 2012 here, 2010, like those, you know, like that, 
That's what I want to see. I want to see that, man. I want to see tears. I want to see people cry. <laughs> I want to see people cry. So let's let's finish it with that, hey, guys. Gentlemen, I hope we will have the same conversation next week again at the World Air Games. So after the World Air Games, thank you very much for taking the time and uh, enjoy the rest. Now we have vacation here, right? Training, a little bit training and vacation in Dubai. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.